So here's the story. The other night I was just sitting at home, scrolling through Instagram, and then I got a little DM asking me, what video editor do you use to edit your vlogs? So I've had a lot of cases where people DM me, where people come up to me and ask me, real, what equipment should I buy? What camera should I use? What microphone should I use? What should I edit with? So to help answer all of those questions, here are my 2018 vlogging equipment. Now when it comes to vlogging equipment, there are three basic principles that I use. Number one, it has to be convenient. Convenient meaning, how fast can I pull it out of my bag, switch on the camera and start recording? Number two, how portable is it? Is it going to be heavy? Is it going to wear me down? Does it involve a huge lens or is it a fixed lens? And number three, how cheap is it going to be? Because I don't have that much money so I gotta find a way to financially find the most effective equipment out there. Starting with my first camera, I have the Canon SX60HS. Very importantly, it has a flip out screen so I can look at myself when I vlog which really helps you frame yourself because as a vlogger, you are a one-man show. Also, very important, it has a microphone jack so that I can stick on a microphone and put it up top just to get that even crisper audio quality that makes vlogs so much more different than if you were to use the original on-camera microphone. It does not have a detachable lens which can be seen as a positive or a negative. In this case, it is a positive for me because it just makes it easier to pull out of the camera bag and just start recording. It shoots in 1080p up to 60 frames a second which helps if you want to uh, do a bit of a slow-mo but not vital in every day because at the end of the day, most of my vlogs are just 30 frames per second. Another advantage of this camera is that it has pretty good autofocus being a Canon camera and on top of that, it is image stabilized which really helps when you are holding this camera in one hand and holding something else in the other hand. Now moving on to my second camera, this is the Olympus Tough TG870. You guys seen me do this review before. If you want to see that, just click the icon at the top here. Again, very importantly, it has a flip up screen and it is very tough and very durable. It is waterproof and shockproof and it really helps when you want to shoot more videos, especially outdoor videos. Again, it shoots in 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second, just like the Canon. And personally, I do not shoot 4K, so 1080p is enough for what I do on YouTube. Now when it comes to vlogs, audio is very important. It really separates a good sounding vlog to a vlog that you can't really get your idea across. For this, I use the Rode Video Mic. It does use a 9V battery and is one of the heavier of the Rode mics. There are cheaper, lighter versions out there like the Video Mic Me, the Video Micro and the Video Mic Go. Regardless, I think this yields a really good audio and it really helps. In cases that I do need lights, I will use these two LED lights right here. Uh, nothing fancy, it's just LED lights that I bounce off the wall to create uh, a bit more light in the videos. Now, a bendy tripod is vital to most vloggers nowadays. I use this really cheap bendy tripod which was less than 10 ringgit that I found on Lazada. You could go for a gorilla pod, they are more durable, they hold up more weight, but they are a couple of hundred ringgit which I do not have the money for right now, so I'm glad I got this on sale. Nothing fancy here, but if you want to watch the unboxing, please click the icon up top. Now, when it comes to video editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You can use pretty much anything you want for editing. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, you can use Filmora is another one that uh, is cheaper and a lot of YouTubers use. You can use, you can even use Windows Movie Maker or iMovies to do it. Because when I edit my vlogs, they don't require a lot of editing. I just need to trim, add audio, adjust audio, and a bit of color correction and color grading and that's really just it for what I use a video editor for. So if you're ever thinking about starting a vlog, just know that the story and then what you put on video is much more important than what is the camera itself. I just want you guys to know that if you want to vlog, just vlog, you know, start off with something simple like an idea or just a day out with me or a 25 facts about me. If you want to put up content, just put content. Don't romanticize it, making sure that it's perfect which is what I tend to do all the time and I have to remind myself not to do. Keep it real.